What is the issue you felt was invisible in society and wish to communicate through your image? The issue I felt is invisible in society and wish to communicate through my image was um, human trafficking. Just because a lot of people thought that when you go to work, you get paid, but sometimes um, that's not necessarily what happens. People sometimes got cheated and didn't get the money they were promised, and I think that that is the an issue that is kind of invisible in society. What tools of visual communication did you use to engage your audience? The tools of visual communication I used to engage my audience were mostly colors. I use a color red and a color black, and these two colors very contrast each other. So I think that the message were clear, and also blood is red. So I use a color red to kind of represent. Life and also humans' blood. What tools, techniques, and processes did you use to create your work? The tools, techniques, and processes I used to create my work were etching tools, brayers, varnisher, oil-based ink, relief printmaking. Um, these tools are very new for me, so it's quite hard to. Come up with a concept, but it's very fun once you get used to it. What space did you choose to exhibit your art in, so as to facilitate conversation with the audience? Why did you choose this space? The space I chose to exhibit my art, so as to facilitate conversation with the audience, was a factory, because a factory is mostly where. Um, people work at, and also a lot of people who didn't finish school. So I think that people working in factories may ha may be um taken advantage of, and I think that it's a very good space to exhibit my artwork. What was one comment you received about your work from the audience that surprised you, and why? Um, a comment I received about my work was um, that a lot of people agree that human trafficking is a invisible, invisible problem that needs to be talked about, and I think that it's very cool how these people agree with me.